Hi, I'm Ikea, and for today's video I want to ramble on for a bit about uh, the first Descendant, as uh, I get to put a little bit of time into it, uh, around 70-ish hours at the time of this recording. Uh, I went in with a question and a goal. Uh, my question was, what does a looter shooter look like in 2024? Uh, coming from a studio with, with some means, uh, they do have some budget and some ideas. And um, also, I wanted the goal was to reach endgame. Now, of course, endgames means different things to different people. There is an item level system in here uh, to reach the max of that became my goal. And also to get through the fixed story path. Um, kind of reaching the end of it, where the game kind of also kind of sets you free uh, in, in the way that most MMOs and uh, subsequently the looter shooters that came from that basically uh, do as there is a point where the game kind of goes, go figure it out. You're now free to just uh, <laughs> go and explore a little bit. As uh, yeah, um, I did reach that. I did enjoy most of my playtime with it. And uh, I just wanted to kind of discuss it in one place uh, in a video in this video form. Mostly because a lot of people have been asking my uh, my opinions on it, and uh, there's a bunch of good ideas here. There are also some bad ideas here um, that I kind of want to talk about. Um, and of course, uh, for those that uh, maybe new or don't know me, I'm mostly a Division Two player, so um, we'll be looking at it through that lens. Basically, I'll be comparing <laughs> a lot to that. And um, and yeah, let's uh, get right in there. Let's first discuss the graphical quality of the game, as I quite enjoy it, especially more so than just graphical quality, the art design and uh, the settings of it. It does go out of its way to make some settings and make some <laughs> visual uh, vistas that uh, kind of look interesting. Uh, for instance, with this uh, humongous ball just uh, floating in the air there. Um, and it goes through a bunch of biomes, it uh, does future tech quite well, and <laughs> yeah, going through the world, I was looking forward each time to what is the next zone going to look like, as yeah, there are several of them, and uh, most of them, <laughs> as, uh, as should be evident here, this game is very much a marriage basically between uh, Destiny 2 and uh, Warframe. Uh, I'm not the first to come to that conclusion, of course. It's been repeated many a times. Um, but yeah, it is a very much uh, that game. And visually, map-wise, for instance, it does go to uh, some places that, yeah, having played Destiny a little bit, uh, kind of seem reminiscent of that. And then uh, the Warframe part of it comes from uh, the mod system that the game utilizes. This is basically a one-to-one -one copy from that. Um, and then, actually, I would say it also kind of uh, plucks a little bit from what would be basically Diablo, or maybe if we're going to keep it in that uh, looter-shooter sense, uh, from Outriders, which kind of had the same system, where we have uh, multiple uh, abilities uh, that we can use that are tied to buttons. Uh, they can be altered marginally uh, to become something different, and for some characters it can actually be a little bit drastic uh, in, in what they can achieve with those. And um, then movement-wise, it actually does have uh, a grappling hook, which is kind of its, its thing. Um, it does feel good to play and to run around. One of the first things that was obvious is that, first of all, from a graphical design, uh, from an art design uh, side of things, this looks pretty good, really good, actually, especially for a free-to-play game. And uh, the movement, the shooting, uh, as well as basically all characters do use weapons. Um, uh, it isn't in the way of Division where some builds basically don't <laughs> use their weapons at all. Although that's also true here. Some builds don't use much of their weapons, but you always still have basically the equivalent of a full <laughs> red course on your weapons. The shooting, uh, the running, the gunning, uh, all of that feels pretty good. It is very much a game about also shooting while uh, not ADSing, uh, about hip firing, which uh, was nice to see, <laughs> having movement be an integral part to it, together with to the point even where using different types of weapons as different types of uh, movement speed attached to it. So when you're with the LMG, you actually uh, run slower than when you have an uh, SMG equipped uh, together with actually if you're hip firing an SMG, you can still keep kind of moving at full speed and LMGs not so much. That is actually a pretty um, 
good uh, design choice and uh, one that for instance i would i'm highlighting here because i would love to see that for instance in in, uh, in a division three but the movement and stuff everything of that feels pretty good the shooting feels pretty good you have to ads you have to um sometimes ads and, and sometimes choose to hip fire and uh, that is a thing that you kind of have to get used to uh, but all of that together kind of feels okay and just feels enjoyable to and that's important. The minute-to-minute -minute gameplay of a game uh, needs to be there. And uh, a big part of that is, is your movement, is your shooting. That is actually one of the things that I enjoy the most about Division. Um, I think the shooting is uh, still one of the best <laughs> ones out there. Um, and there is, of course, other factors, as we'll go into in a little bit, that kind of uh, matter for that. But... Having the mobility to, for instance, yeah, just get up here and uh, have a look and then jump down and go around. That feels really good. Uh, I'll be short on the character design as I'll uh, hit on that as well. But yeah, there is a lot of, a lot of pulling attention towards certain, uh, especially female body parts. Um, here and there even as well to the male body parts. Less so, of course, because that, uh, that doesn't <laughs> have the bigger audience. I, I'm not one for it. Um, I kind of understand it. Um, it's 17-year-old me would have been all about it. 37-year-old um, me is kind of indifferent to it, to the point as well that it kind of detracts from me. Because I don't look at this and go, ooh, that's a pretty lady with uh, kind of her, you know, her um, part of her female anatomy kind of half hanging out. I go, yeah, these, these guys, the developers of this, um, are just trying to milk it. <laughs> uh, pardon the pun. Um, I can't uh, see it through... Uh, yeah, I can't suspend my disbelief through it. Um, that is not a thing I can do anymore <laughs> nowadays. Um, I don't see the character. I just see the designer behind it. Uh, and I'm just... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but they are all still functional. You can... You can cover them up. They all have uh, other alternate skins where they are a little less egregious, but also have skins, of course, where they're even more egregious. Uh, so your mileage might vary. Um, but yeah, gameplay feel-wise, it does feel good. And um, that is also why I did spend quite a little bit of time in it and why I can totally see others spending uh, a lot of time in here. Um, yeah, let's go discuss some of the systems. And to discuss this, we've come over to Albion. This is the base of operations, basically, for, for this video game. And um, it is a cool art design. Um, although one, again, kind of copied, borrowed. <laughs> uh, it's taking inspiration from uh, a lot of, uh, of course, uh, adjacent games. Um, feel This feels kind of Destiny, kind of feels uh, Halo-y. Um, but of course, yeah, all all design is uh, is based upon others. We're all, you know, they're all standing on the shoulders of other giants. And um, yeah, let's kind of discuss some of the systems of it because it does have a as looter shooters do to make it an actual looter shooter. It has to have a basically an inventory system here as well. We're kind of dealing with uh, separate weapons, uh, three weapon slots in which we can uh, in each slot we can put any type of weapon. So we're also kind of not locked to a handgun slot um, like we would be. There are different ammo types, uh, very reminiscent of uh, Destiny. Um, uh, although again, as well, Division as well. Although Division doesn't uh, segregate them out to be uh, this um, this level of difference, because for instance, yeah, there are the the very hard hitting rounds. Um, that you don't get often, for instance, and uh, then, yeah, some other types. Then on the other end, we have what is the core of the of, of what will become the, the skills that they use, and they do call them skills as well here, um, which is odd because I, I were, generally abilities is, is, is the, the accepted terms, I feel, <laughs> in, 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 in uh, these kinds of video games. Uh, but yeah, they're taking skills, um, and yeah, we have skill power basically, and um, it kind of depends uh, what character you're running though, as to which reactor you want to have in there, together with what are these uh, components, and uh, these components gives you the stats that you require, um, giving into different stats. One of the things that this game does really well is actually give you, if we, for instance, go into... Uh, the details of this we get 
a lot of its stats and a lot of the um, the for instance things that we would love to have in game in the vision of like for instance where drop off starts and drop off ends and uh, hip fire accuracies and all the uh, crit rates and stuff like that um all spelled out and uh, even more so as well if we if we go into a weapon here um we have the modding system of it uh, we'll come back to that in a second but first just on the left um yeah we have basically all of the stats uh, always uh, coming up for all weapons um i would love to have uh, this um good of a breakout in the, on the division end together with the dps number although um from what i understand there is some some weirdness here happening but it is still trying to put a dps number on it but just having burst dps would not per se be a useful thing anyway uh, you would need a sustained dps to go along with it to make um, decisions off of it, but you can kind of use that as, as a baseline to start off with. Then we have the module system, and the module system is basically a wholesale <laughs> Uh, taken inspiration from, from Warframe. Um, I haven't played much of Warframe, and especially not recently. Um, but yeah, this very much is that system. Uh, but then, yeah, a little bit um, more conformed to here. We basically get um, these uh, these modules that we can uh, slot in. They have a cost assigned to them. Uh, the cost can be uh, altered by putting them in correct slots, for instance. And uh, you have a capacity for it, and you can, of course, alter those, and you can upgrade the modules as well, as, as is core to, uh, as I believe, Warframe system as well, of just uh, upgrading some of the mods as, uh, as that takes resources. That's basically the, the game. But then also, for instance, if we kind of uh, look at it, there is um, a system that it has, um, and this is kind of also the reason why I didn't really uh, ponder even long about continuing on with it. Because one of the things you generally have for um, MMOs and stuff is what does it take to get a one maxed character, basically? One character to, uh, not per se end game, because you can do all of the end game things likely with less than that. But getting them maxed out. So for in, the, in, in the case of Division, that would be, for instance, getting, you know, if you're going for a striker on, on a character, because, of course, we don't have characters in that sense. Where the, the characters are not fixed things. The builds are basically more the fixed things. Um, if we have, let's say, an Obliterate Striker and you want to max it out, so yeah, you would have to optimize it all. Expertise would likely be the longest grind because you would want to have expertise uh, on the weapon, especially. But then here we have the system of uh, adding in, um, uh, first of all, uh, energy activators. Basically, every item will need this. And this is already by itself um, a grind that I did a few times and um, basically made me want to not continue. It is a set grind. You need to, uh, after a while, uh, keep repeating certain parts. And some parts of it are pretty egregious doing a certain outpost over and over again. I don't remember for which of these parts that was, but but yeah, I wasn't up for that. <laughs> I, I I saw it. I saw I saw the light, and I went. Uh, you know what? Uh, I like darkness. Um, and then as well, what you have is this uh, uh, crystallization catalyst system, where you will have proficiency on the weapons, kind of in the same vein as division. Once you hit max proficiency, you get to um, uh, use that uh, together with one of these uh, crystallization catalysts, which also requires a grind. Um, and it being again for for uh, with four items, it is kind of it is annoying and and not well put together. The, this new, they need to diversify how you can get a lot of the items. I feel. Uh, but then, yeah, you can add one uh, slot uh, here. And uh, for instance, as we have here already, this being an, an, uh, an um, uh, ultimate uh, item, uh, as is their exotic system, basically. Uh, you can, to all weapons, though, you can do this. Um, this one comes already with two slots that are filled in. Uh, and if we go back out, we have a cost reduction here, basically. So whatever we put into those slots, uh, we'll have a heavy cost reduction with it, um, halved, basically. So this module um, by itself would cost a 16. In the, in the right slot, it costs eight. And of course, as you can guess from that, it being a capacity kind of system, it is very advantageous to uh, eventually have all of these have a slot attached to them. 
That means um, for this weapon, this being an ultimate weapon, so normal weapons start without any of them yeah, as well. Uh, this being an ultimate weapon, um, you need to do this eight times, reach max proficiency, use eight crystallization catalysts, put in eight of the slots. And of course, these are then uh, the modules have uh, five different um, kind of groups that they uh, belong to. Um, and that is, of course, just there uh, to uh, if you make choices and you want to change your choices later you will need to basically spend even more because you can overwrite them you can't change them afterwards you can't overwrite them um this by itself already um there should be a different item here that is much cheaper to get and such to just replace it to just uh alter it for instance yeah from from whatever that is to whatever this is um that, that is kind of common in, in a lot of mmos that you have a hard grind first and then Altering that grind shouldn't be as expensive. A respec should not be as expensive as the initial grind for it. But also, for instance, yeah, to max out just this one weapon, um, yeah, you, I would need to level this up uh, eight times. That takes quite a while. <laughs> and that's also why a lot of the game play now, as, as if you've uh, watched any streams lately, is a lot of people grinding levels. Um, we'll uh, go and do a little bit of that at the end part where I uh, talk about uh, some of my uh, thoughts on gameplay. But uh, having that, and then also the character itself works in the same way with some modules here. Uh, this character has the same thing of also requiring an, an, an activator, although this character already has it. Uh, and then um, if you were to want to max it out, uh, it would require eight times leveling to full, which um, takes quite a while. Um, it is an interesting thought to try to do that. It is basically what would be the prestige system out of uh, Call of Duties and stuff. As for instance here as well, I have um, I have uh, Freyna, which I actually uh, is one of the characters I kind of enjoyed a bit. Um, she is a the damage over the time kind of character, a kind of warlocky basically. <laughs> um, and uh, for her, I have actually uh, done uh, already um, two additions to it, um, and I'm starting to re-level her to 40. And if the gameplay were fun enough uh, for me to do that, I could see myself doing that. This is a grind that you can especially do solo as well. Uh, I can see totally losing yourself kind of in that and, and having just enough fun to kind of get through that grind just to get uh, this character, uh, get all of these crystallization catalysts that you would need. And then over time, just uh, continuously add socket types so that you get reductions here because that does uh, these modules, of course, they add uh, quite a bit. So, for instance, for a maxed out, uh, although, well, that's that's skill duration, but um, just, uh, yeah, for instance, skill, this one, 44% and 19%, 25% skill reduction and 92% uh, uh, skill effect range kind of things. These are big numbers, and yeah, they do make a big difference. Uh, a maxed out character and a starting out character um, are quite different. Um, where the difference, for instance, in division, to make that comparison between a maxed out character that has the full instance, the full watch and the full uh, expertise, for instance, on weapons, uh, that's actually a smaller difference, a lot smaller difference than this is. Um, and this was kind of the thing that kind of when I understood this that kind of made me go mm, I, I, I i'm i'm not up for it <laughs> um and um the reason for that is actually uh let's go um do some grinding and uh, while we grind uh, we'll talk about that but before we do that actually one thing i did want to discuss is some of the good ideas that it has here uh one of them is that um the modules are actually cross weapon so this weapon system that it uses is actually that basically every item is a named item um, in the terms of a division. Um, that means that you will, as you're leveling, um, pick up the same kind of weapons over and over again, meaning that it's not as big of a pool as some games would have it. But uh, with that, it means that, for instance, if I have uh, this uh, Caligo's Horn, um, every one that I pick up will have actually this module set. Uh, attached to it so you don't have to remod the things and that would be kind of nice uh, for instance in division where you pick up a new weapon and you kind of have to just do the mods and we keep doing the same mods to everything basically we uh, 
especially if it's ARs or such, it's basically all the crit chance mods and then and then a plus 20 mag. Um, having that be able to be set across maybe an entire class or just maybe per weapon, because over time then at least uh, that would be uh, quite advantageous. Um, and then, uh, yeah, having talked about one thing that I did like, uh, let's talk about something that I actually didn't like. I'll bring that up here just by itself. There's actually a limit on the uh, amount of items that you can favorite, which is something that I don't understand why they did. Um, because over time, I did favorite a bunch of things. I have a bunch of things in my stash uh, system, as, as it has that, of course. Um, and um, I never understood why it had that. Let's go here and kind of do an old grind, because this isn't a, a current grind anymore. Uh, there are actually uh, better grinds than this found, as of course what will happen is uh, people over time will find certain things that work the best. That is, you know, at its core what meta is. Um, they will go around and, you know, Try out different things in different places, and this used to be actually yeah, one of the grinds that kind of existed for a bit. And we're just gonna repeat a mission over and over again. Um, this is kind of like the activity would be in Division, um, but it's the same one over and over again because we can start it uh, at will, um, no timer attached to it or anything. Um, and here I have one random with me who <laughs> has uh, apparently not. Uh, Notice that there are better ways now, as, as other other ones have uh, been figured out. Um, and yeah, this is very set, and there is there is a Zen type thing to it, um, gameplay wise, uh, to doing it. But also, um, yeah, I'm not I'm not completely sold on it. Um, together with uh, my biggest gripes with this game. Um, and that is actually, uh, as we'll discuss this here, although I'm gonna turn down a little bit uh, the audio because they, they are quite loud. Um, yeah, my biggest gripe with this game is twofold. One is the audio system. So the audio design that he uses is, to me, actually really bad. Um, it does make sounds and noises, but uh, it, it, I feel it has uh, not learned the lessons that uh, a Destiny or a Division or a Warframe have been kind of like uh, teaching for years now. That is, for instance, having snipers make sounds before they take a big shot. That is, for instance, having, uh, if you have an exploding type enemy, which this game has as well, when an outcast rusher comes your way, um, at this point, uh, if you were to play that sound um, in a convention, if there was ever a convention of division players, everybody would kind of just, you know, run for the corners at the beep 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 of, of, a, of a rusher. Um, that sound design is uh, very lacking in here. Uh, there are exploding enemies, um, there are three different uh, factions uh, of, of enemies that we fight, uh, all of them belong to kind of the same uh, grander faction, but uh, they are kind of distinct uh, with their, each, their own weaknesses and also each of them having their own explosive character or explosive uh, kind of... Uh, enemy and uh, none of them make sounds as they come towards you none of them uh, have a distinct sound uh, for them spawning in which would want as well and of course here um, uh, even for some of these enemies it just does not make the sounds that you would want there's also the colossus fights in this um, in here which are basically uh, big enemies that you fight um, they really reminded me, although this might be uh, also a little bit old, and a lot of other games have done it as well, but it really felt like a Peace Walkers uh, fights. Um, they were, they are arena, uh, set arenas, there is uh, a big boss, it does uh, big things, and you have weak points on them, and you try to damage them in certain ways. None of those fights really as well felt good to me. Um, I understand that they wanted to maybe do something bigger, but at no point did any of the Colossal fights actually feel enjoyable to me. That was uh, especially one of the things that um, made it uh, 
in that case, the mostly I enjoyed my time with this game. Mostly. Uh, the Colossus fight weren't it. Um, because with the Colossus fights, I mostly felt uh, that I got through them by either continuing getting a little bit gearing up, basically, which isn't the right way that you want, to, you know. Uh, 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 you learn to fly. As their mechanics aren't well explained, even though uh, some people bring <laughs> Um, you know, it's it's a Korean game yeah. and uh, they don't explain much, so you have to just figure it out. In the rest of the game, they do. They over-explain way too much in uh, other mean? factors, oh, so I don't see why you would territory. then have just one place where you under-explain. Um, and also, in a visual form um, and in a sound form, they just don't... Quite the flight, that guy made. Um, yeah, the, you need to speak a certain language, which MMOs have had now, because keep in mind, WoW is, uh, it came out in 2003, <laughs> it has, uh, it has, and even then, that's like, WoW isn't the first, um, WoW is just uh, one of the big names that has been around. Um, the language of trying to uh, make um, mechanics understandable to uh, to to people has been around. Like there is a thousand uh, GDC talks that you can go over. I feel this game kind of missed half of them. <laughs> um, both in yeah in its design for what enemies are, what they do. Uh, as well, as a lot of the enemies are very generic, and um, also applying sound and visual design to make you understand where to shoot, what to hide from. Because um, also in the sound design uh, area, you have a, a humongous colossus, uh, a humongous enemy jumping up into the air, for instance, uh, to make a big slam onto onto you, and it does it completely silently. <laughs> I feel. The, the sound of this game is is very poor. Uh, it's its biggest flaw to me. And uh, not that I care that much about sound. Uh, I can get by without. <laughs> I'm much more of a visual person for myself as well. But it is still very lacking. You kind of notice how much you're missing it uh, just by virtue of, of not having it. Um, and yeah, that is quite the one smaller one, uh, although I still, because it isn't trying to do it, but um, I would have loved for it, is it doesn't do exploration at all. Um, it has a little bit of a factor of exploring, which is for one of its systems where um, you need to find certain uh, uh, statues that are in the game world. Um, as they provide you with certain uh, benefits, uh, you have to do a small mini game with them to get certain of the items, and they are the best ways of getting those items. And those are that is really the only exploration that this game has. At no other point um, does it reward you at, in any way for exploring. It actually even kind of kind of hurts you if you try. Um, you're better off not exploring at all. Uh, as yes, we're continuing our grind here, and now we're also up to four people, which uh, goes a little bit faster. And yeah, we're picking up a bunch of uh, the resources, Cowper, which is the mod systems uh, currency, and some uh, gold, which is just gold. Um, and also a bunch of items that we can deconstruct, because yeah, as you can see, my inventory is already full. Um, I can't pick up any more of the items. Um, Make a note in the operations log, number And. This is kind of what it pushes you towards doing, as as if you've watched any of the streams and stuff, you, you will see a bunch of people do oftentimes similar stuff, uh, either this or grinding for certain items, um, as that is very much part of the game as well, of, of trying to force you to find a certain uh, items um, just because you need them for, for instance, those catalyzation crystals that we were talking about earlier. Um, none of that uh, feels very good, um, and also during it, not having any exploration kind of hurts it. 
But my biggest gripe with this game is actually I don't enjoy the minute to minute game. There is a there is a famous quote uh, from a long time ago, um, which is from uh, Benji, uh, someone at Benji, which um, was in one of the promo materials, which was you basically make one minute of good gameplay and you just keep repeating it over and over again. And that was the, the design basis uh, all the way back in, in Halo times, that was when that kind of came from. Of course, that isn't completely true, you also you know, uh, do it in new places, with new mechanics, in new ways, but the core of it kind of has to feel good. And while I, uh, in the past a little, uh, uh, we're discussing the movement and the shooting feeling good, so what do I find lacking? Uh, and the answer is um, the rest. So shooting, the shooting on our end, the, sh the movement on our end, well, actually is pretty enjoyable. But then you have to also be able to use that on something enjoyable. So here, for instance, yeah, we are grinding. These are actually pretty easy enemies, so yeah, it's understandable that we're just kind of melting them. Um, but none of the enemies, uh, I find, um, really feel enjoyable to fight. All of the enemies are either like this, they are shooting and just slightly moving, uh, moving forward and kind of shooting. Or what they are is uh, like these uh, these rushing guys, <laughs> the guys that are, were rushing at me. They're melee enemies and they just try to get in range and hit you. And then there is big enemies with, with shields and big enemies with, with uh, arc hitting weapons and stuff like that. Um, none of that feels good. Um, I never feel that I'm in... in uh, a fight I where I need to game. actually pay attention. Um, outside of even the Colossi fight, for instance, um, you here and there need to kind of do a thing uh, real quickly um, as they have mechanics to them. Outside of that, not so much. Um, and that is the thing. It is okay feeling mechanics of, of shooting and, and movement. There is nothing to me really here to really use that on. Um, oh, I, I don't feel territory. that if I had a max character that I, you know, really make a difference with it. Now, for instance, in uh, to bring it back into, for instance, division terms, of course, um, there we have things like legendary, we have things like incursions and the raids. Places to go to kind of use a maxed out set and such. And well, this game, of course, as well, has a very high, um, um, high level enemies, basically. Uh, it's colossi um, that are way over over leveled basically and you need the extra damage uh, with none of them do I feel that it is uh, that uh, I got better or I did something different it was all the leveling basically and um, that has never felt enjoyable a lot of MMOs live by that design but this is 2024 and I would hope um, there would be something better than that, uh, than just, you need more damage, and the only way to get it is not through your own actions, not through build design, um, but just, just go grinding. Um, and yeah, together with that, that the minute to minute eventually just gets, yeah, feels like hours. <laughs> um, for instance, here as well. I haven't played this in a little bit, so I'm uh, kind of enjoying it just because I haven't I haven't done it in a while. But also, I'm not sick of this, and this is kind of what the game kind of wants you to do. Not just here for grinding this, but also for instance, if you want certain characters, if you want certain weapons, they are oftentimes tied to a certain uh, mission, so you have to <clears throat> get certain items from certain missions. So you might be doing the same type of mission four or five six I times in a row to get um, a, a drop out of it of course it is one of the things it does do well is it does show on the mission the probabilities and such for items so for instance if i was looking for now for instance not so much this one but let's go for one of the infiltration is going smoothly good job one of the other missions where Governance is here, actually. I was looking for outpost. 
Um, this, for instance, drops uh, that amorphous material pattern 060 at a 25% jam. So it gives you all of the percentages quite well. That is a nice, nice thing of it, uh, and, and, and a good design choice. Um, but that, of course, that means if I need that, for instance, for one of the blueprints or such, I might be doing that at post over and over and over and over and over again for quite a bit. Especially if you're trying to get a 6% drop rate, for instance, um, which... Uh, if you have any idea how probabilities work, um, that doesn't mean that you just, you know, yeah, it's 60, it's 100 divided by 6, and that's what you get it. No, that is the average. Um, the average doesn't mean that you will get it on average. Um, much likely as well, you'll go over it, or you get lucky and you get it under it. But for every person that is under it, another person has been over it. So if somebody gets it in one go, there is a person that has uh, had done it to with a 20% chance. Uh, that has to basically have done it in double that, so instead of five, has had to do ten times. It wants repetition, and repetition is fine. I'm I'm totally fine doing repetition, as I do a lot in Division as well. But I enjoy the gameplay. High level Volga is closing I in. don't enjoy this gameplay. Um, outside of this one enemy, where I get to kind of shoot him and try to hit his weak point, um, none of these enemies feel fun to fight. Um, abilities wise as well I just use my abilities now, of course this isn't anything hard or anything but a lot of the content ends up being like this so that is the reason as well why I won't be continuing my journey with it <laughs> but at the start as a spoiler warning as yeah I'm I'm going to go spend my time in other places um, you know, what this case has made me want to do more ending is actually yeah, get back a little bit into Warframe as I haven't played that for years. Get a little bit back into um, Destiny because I also haven't played that really for years. And uh, I'll be doing that um, over on Twitch as well. Um, so yeah, if you're actually interested in those uh, over the uh, next few weeks, I'll be spending a few afternoons um, in Destiny and in Warframe. Uh, likely starting with Destiny. And... Um, I might revisit this um, if an expansion comes out, if they uh, make something new for it, as I don't hate it. I definitely don't. Um, I just am not... 20-year-old uh, me would be all up for this. Um, the 37-year-old me, really really not so much. Uh, I used to love grinding. I still kind of do. Um, but I also need my minute-to-minute -minute game. Right As that is my kind of final conclusion with this game. The shooting feels good. The movement feels good. I don't feel it really gives you anything to use it on. Uh, yeah, let's go uh, towards a conclusion. To conclude this video, um, I wanted to lastly uh, talk about this, which I find egregious as well. I just, I wish, I would have wished um, more modern games to drop this, as this feels a little bit um, like old, uh, the same practice as old loot boxes of trying to get you to uh, invest into a game. And that is that uh, crafting takes time. So I have crafted here a bunch of items, um, and uh, they, these have all taken some time. As for instance, if I try to uh, recraft, uh, let's say this item, this will take an hour of uh, of real lifetime, <laughs> and of course you have the ability once you have started it, uh, you can advance it by playing, placing, in, uh, or paying their um, re their um, currency, the, the the bot currency, uh, in the form of caliber. I really dislike these kind of systems. I disliked it that, uh, with uh, Warframe. Um, if you're gonna go do crafting, if you have a crafting system, just when the items, the items should be the grind. Uh, there shouldn't be a timer here. Um, I've always disliked any game that had this, and uh, this has it in spades and tries to um, really entice you to uh, to do that. And of course, the real reason to do this is that when I set this at a seven and a half hour timer to be crafted. Uh, that means that um, the, I'll be coming back tomorrow to pick it up. Except I'm not coming back tomorrow to pick it up because this system is in here. If this system wasn't in here, I, I would have... Uh, like, this is a big, big minus for me. Uh, but yeah, that um, that actually kind of reaches us to towards the end here of of my thoughts on 
on first descendant i did enjoy my time with it uh, um, a little bit especially the gunplay and the movement feels good but yeah as i said um there, there really isn't anything good to use it on um making for a weak minute to minute gameplay where in division uh if i'm on heroic any moment it could go wrong uh even in a four-man team even in a coordinated four-man team even in missions that we do uh, a lot or uh, even in content that we do a lot if we're like bounty farming or something once in a while it still goes wrong the enemies are sometimes just smart enough <laughs> to get a flank on us to just spawn somewhere a, a little bit that we didn't expect them one enemy just survives a little second and or a rusher just gets out and just gives you a hug uh, all of those things i don't feel i've ever really been in danger in, in in this game and the moments that i have died it has been true frustration because of the sound design it has been a sniper somewhere on a hill without any real sound assigned to it where a lot of games will do the overly dramatic uh you know charge up sound of a of a of a, of a sniper rifle or for instance even divisions uh the 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 little the little swing that you hear of of, of, of them kind of aiming at you with their laser uh, that charge up sound kind of thing um that just that minimal kind of thing is enough for you to understand that you are in that danger same for rushers uh, coming towards you uh, the beep beeps of, uh, of rushers or or of like explosive drones will be uh, ingrained into any division player uh in this game they come towards you pretty much soundlessly um and yeah that is that is just that never feels good every time i have died in this game i have not really had a sense of what happened uh which yeah is is uh, that shouldn't be the case and sound design is a big part of that having a good sound design to go with that um but yeah um will i continue on with the first ascendants as i kind of already said not really um this isn't the game for me it is way too grind heavy what it kind of wants from you if the game felt a lot better um I would totally be up for it but also on the other hand i totally understand um it's being something new for a lot of people and them enjoying just uh, something new <laughs> just a variety is the is is the spice of life um and yeah i can totally get that with a game like this um it is truly a looter shooter as well um it isn't uh trying to be something similar to it and then you know doing some kind of rug pull as uh, some games have done through the through the ages um and it is well made uh i cannot uh deny that at all and i won't even um it is made by a competent team and they are also kind of keeping on top of it um but yeah my my time with it will kind of end there i will likely revisit it if there is some form of expansion but honestly the one thing that this game um uh, made me feel is that i'm very thankful that division exists uh that uh the the gameplay style of that exists and also that the art style of that exists and uh, that also uh through all of these ages like that um we don't get uh things like this in uh, in the division even though that of course somebody uh, kind of called out for them i i disagree fully i i I would leave uh, over something like this uh, rather than something like seasonal characters. Uh, but yeah, thank you for uh, joining me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please do um, uh, hit uh, the, the algorithm things down below and uh, help out uh, that way if you, uh, if you are willing. And um, uh, for my next video, we'll be uh, actually um, going over uh, watch alts and how the new system has, uh, the one end game system, has kind of shaken things up there and we want to go through some of that and uh, that'll be followed up by a build showcase on joke builds as we'll <laughs> go into a few funny joke builds uh, but yeah i hope you join me for those and as always have a good night